Jay-Z and Square reportedly in some talks uh, for Square to buy his uh, streaming service title. Kate Rooney's got some more on this today. Hey, Kate. Hey, Carl. Jack Dorsey's payments company is reportedly looking to buy Tidal, which has an A-list group of owners from Jay-Z and Beyonce to Rihanna. That report out from Bloomberg. And no comment from Square, Jay-Z, or Tidal. But why would a financial services company get into music? Analysts say it makes sense in Dorsey's long-term vision for Square, especially for the ever-popular Cash App. Square has built its Venmo competitor into a powerhouse this year with more than 30 million users. Its momentum was one of the big drivers of that stock's 260% rise year-to-date, even as Square's core payments hardware business was hit during U.S. shutdowns. Every product that Square launches, I'm told, is to drive more engagement, which results in more revenue per user. Dan Dolev of Mizuho tells me that the end goal for Square is to be a mega app, where people manage finances, pay friends, and in this case, listen to music. He points to Apple's iTunes store and that closed-loop system as an example. A title acquisition would certainly fit in with Square's growth strategy, what analysts call the cool factor. Iggy Azalea, Meek Mills, and hundreds of other hip-hop artists have written Cash App into their lyrics. Dorsey highlighted that on a 2019 earnings call. Square also launched a clothing line a few weeks ago with hoodies and sweatpants. And just last week, Square did a Bitcoin giveaway with rapper Megan Thee Stallion. But Square's M&A track record has been lackluster. Caviar is the most recent high-profile example. They bought the food delivery app and sold it about five years later to DoorDash. Dorsey is really known for being great at building these things internally, not so much for buying them. Guys, back to you.